like to take a moment to thank our listeners sincerely for your support of Honest News Network Ministry. If you're interested in supporting this ministry, please use the information provided. Thank you. Again, we'd like to thank everyone that's praying for my brother. There hasn't been any change they have him on the ventilator, and I guess it's a matter of how much oxygen they're going to give him. But we appreciate your continued prayers. It's weighing heavy on me, so I'm still ministering, but please bear with me. Let's pray. Our Heavenly Father, God, we know that you're able to do exceeding, abundant, above all we could ever ask or think. We know there's nothing impossible with you. Lord, we know that we're not the only ones that are going through something or dealing with a situation, even a serious situation. So we pray, Father, that everyone, Lord, that is in need in this hour, your people, those that are listening to this broadcast that have needs, we pray, Father, that you will answer prayer, that you will intervene, Lord. We believe for quick answers, Lord, that you will work. We're believing for miracles. We ask that you would bless, Lord, this message as we minister your word, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. We begin this Sunday afternoon, we begin with 1 John chapter 4 and verse 17. First John chapter 4, verse 17. Herein is our love made perfect, that we may have boldness in the day of judgment. Because as he is, so are we in this world. <clears throat> Hereby know ye the Spirit of God. Every spirit that confesseth that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is of God. And every spirit that confesseth not that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh, is not of God. And this is that spirit of Antichrist, where you have heard that it should come. And even now already is it in the world. Ye are of God, little children, and have overcome them, because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. They are of the world, therefore they speak of the world, and the world heareth them. We are of God. He that knoweth God heareth us. He that is not of God hear, heareth not us. Hereby know we the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. Be, beloved, let us love one another. Amen. For love is of God, and every one that loveth is born of God, and knoweth God. He that loveth not knoweth not God. 
for God is love. Amen. God is love. In this was manifested the love of God toward us, because that God sent his only begotten son into the world, that we might live through him. Here in his love, not that we loved God, but that he loved us. And sent his son to be the propitiation for our sins. Beloved, If God so loved us, we ought also to love one another. No man has seen God at any time. If we love one another, God dwelleth in us, and his love is perfected in us. Hereby know we that we dwell in him and he in us, because he hath given us of his spirit. And we have seen and do testify that the Father sent the Son to be the Savior of the world. Whosoever shall confess that Jesus is the Son of God, God dwelleth in him, and he in God. And we have known and believed the love that God hath to us. God is love. He that dwelleth in love dwelleth in God, and God in him. Herein is our love made perfect, that we may have boldness in the day of judgment. Are we in the day of judgment, folks? That we may have boldness in the day of judgment. Because as he is, so are we in this world. There is no fear. Wherever you are right now, repeat that out loud, audibly. There is no fear in love. But perfect love casteth out fear. Because fear hath torment. He that feareth is not made perfect in love. We love him. Because he first loved us. We love him because he first loved us. You wasn't looking for him. Amen. He came looking for you. He first loved you. Amen. When the Lord saved you, he first loved you. Now, Did you know you can leave that first love? You can leave that first love experience in the Lord. Revelation chapter two and verse one says unto the angel, of the church of Ephesus, right? These things saith he that holdeth the seven stars in his right hand, who walketh in the midst of the seven golden candlesticks. I know thy works and thy labor, and thy patience, and how thou canst not bear them which are evil. And thou hast tried them which say they are apostles, and are not, and hast found them liars, and hast borne, and hast patience, and for my name's sake hast labored, and hast not fainted. Nevertheless, I have somewhat against thee. Because thou hast left thy first love. We love him because he first loved us. He is able to restore that first love experience in your life where he is first. You remember when you first got saved, he was everything to you. 
You couldn't talk without speaking about Jesus. People couldn't look at you without seeing him shining in your life, shining through your countenance. But have you begin, begun to cr- grow cold? Are you lukewarm? Are you cooling off? Is he still your first love? Is he still burning? Is his love still burning in your heart? Amen. Because everyone around us is falling away, it seems. There's a great falling away. That doesn't mean you and I need to be affected by that. While others may be growing cold because iniquity is abounding, you and I could become more and more on fire for the Lord than ever before, people. Burning, amen, within, with that holy first love, God's love, God's love burning in your heart, not just for him, but for others, that his love is demonstrated in your life in the way you treat other people. Amen. We see in the scripture that how can you love God? You can't see if you can't love your brother who you can see. Amen. We need to be examples in this hour of God's love. We're we're living in a world full of hate. Amen. They hate. They full of hate. But you and I, we're to be lights. We're supposed to be letting our light so shine before men that they may see our good works and glorify our Father which is in heaven. I do believe that you can still be saved and be lukewarm. But you're not going to be saved very long. Because you got to keep yourself in the love of God, according to the scripture. Amen. You got to keep yourself in that first love experience. Remember, therefore, from whence thou art fallen and repent. Do your first works over again. That's what Jesus says is the remedy. Amen. That's the remedy. Do your first works over again. He says, if you won't, he says, I will come unto you quickly and I'll remove thy candlestick out of his place, except thou repent. The candlestick has to do with light. Amen. You're no longer going to be a light to those around you. In fact, they'll look at your life and they'll be confused. If they don't see his light in your life. And you can also have his light shining out of you. And contradict that light. And confuse people. We need to be sincere. Without hypocrisy. Clear. So when someone sees our lives. They don't just see the light. But they see a life that lines up with the light. Amen, people. Many of God's people in this hour have left their first love. It doesn't say they lost him. They left him. This is the falling away. We're in the time of the falling away. But he said, repent. Do your first works over again. Return to your first love. Amen. God bless you. We've got the power in the name.